Hello friends, our product listing is ready now. We have prepared the title, keywords, bullet points, descriptions. And our photos have been prepared by our photographer. And, time to list our product on Amazon. When you enter the seller.center.amazon.com, you should click the Add a Product section from the Inventory section in order to add a new product list. If you want to continue with an existing product, you should write the ASIN in the blink. However, we are clicking Create a New Product Listing because we want to create our own product listing. By the way, product listing means the product page. First of all, we should determine our product category. You can choose the category from the list below, however, Amazon would find your category list when you write main keywords. I wrote our product name, Gender Reveal Party Supplies, and click on the Find Category button. Amazon has resulted in all the category sections which might be related to our product. The result involves a lot of sections because our main keywords are too much. You can find your category by looking at your opponents. You can choose the same category with your opponent who has the highest sales volume. Let's look at our opponents to learn their category. This one is the seller who has the highest sales volume. Click on his product to reach his product listing page. And go to the bottom side of the page, there is a best seller rank section. This seller chose kids party supplies packs in the toys and games category. Let's have a look at another opponent to learn their product category. Let's go to the bottom of the page, and this one chose health and household. As I said before, if we could choose a specific product, the result will be on a small list. For example, let's write inflatable pillow and search. Look at that, there are only 6 to 7 results. You can choose the best one which is preferred mostly by your opponents. Our product is Gender Reveal Party Supplies, therefore, the result has been publishing on a big list because of the plenty of keywords, and we can choose the most related one with our product. Our best seller opponent chose Party Supplies, Party Favors in the Game and Toys category. So, we can also choose this one. Even if you choose the wrong category, Amazon will direct you to the true category according to your title and product properties. Thereby, you shouldn't try selling a hidden category which needs a certificate, and if you choose them, you will be responsible for showing the certificate. Therefore, we should choose the true category at the beginning. We've written gender reveal party supplies, and we choose the party favors category. After choosing the category, you'll see this page on the screen. Click the advance and try to fill the blinks as much as you can. You can create your product list by only filling the red blinks, and you can fill the others later on. It's also acceptable. For example, after you give your order, manufacturers might ask for the labels directly, and by filling the red blinks quickly, and prepare your shipping plan and send the labels to your manufacturer. While the manufacturer produces your product, you can edit this section as you wish. Let's continue one by one. Vital info, variations, offer, compliance, images, etc. These might be changeable depends on the different categories. But generally, these will be shown, generally. Vital info is the general info of the product. How can we fill the blinks? Let's fill them all together, in turn. Minimum manufacturer age recommended is the age of your manufacturer. You can find this info from its website. It is not important information. 6, 7, 10. You can write here whatever you want. In the next one, you determine if it is month or year. As I said before, you can see a different screen than this one. You might choose a different category. However, the information will be the same. Thereby, you won't have any problem. What is the product name? It is the title of the product. We'll also write the title of the product here. I am copying the title and pasting the related blank. You will write your manufacturer name for manufacturer section. I am writing TEK here. You are writing your trademark for the brand name section. Be careful not to choose a patent trademark. After you take your patent, you will have better results, surely. I am writing Tech Baby. Manufacturer part number is not an important section, you can write whatever you want. It is the name of your manufacturer calls. I am writing EX001. 
You can write whatever you want. It is not necessary to fill the packet quantity section. So, you won't fill the sections below, because the packet quantity section is empty already. And we reach the important point. We must make our product known in the related product identifier type section. The product is introduced by ASIN, GTIN, UPC, etc. These are such a name of products. How can we get the UPC, GTIIN numbers? We are choosing speedbarcodes.com. You can also choose IB.com or any others. Enter the speedybarcodes.com. Then the site is asking for how many labels you want. There is a list of prices and it is changeable according to your label numbers. For example, one label is $5. And five labels is $10. Actually, the more, the cheaper. I think five labels are reasonable for now and it is $10, it means $2 for each. You can use them for your later products. We'll use the numbers while we are making list. We'll need one label for each product. And for each variation of product, you will need a different UPS number. Let's say that you'll order 500 units of the phone case, you'll need one label number. After making a shipping plan, Amazon will give you the FDSQ code and you will send it to your manufacturer. And they will attach them to the product. However, for product listing, you'll need a UPS number. This will be the name of your product. Thereby, I am choosing UPS as related product identifier type. You can choose others if you want. After choosing UPS, you can fill these blinks, but these are not important anymore. Then, I am selecting UPS and filling the blink with the label ID that I took from speedybarcodes.com. This will be the number of our product. Thus, the vital info section has done. Let's pass the variation section. If you don't have any variation, you don't have to fill this section. We don't have variation, thereby, I am passing the offer section. You can write whatever you want in the seller SKU section. This is the name of the product. I am writing gender 1. In order to prevent confusion when you add any other product. Right after, you should select the condition of your product. If it is a second hand or new, etc. Our product is new already. I am writing $25 for the standard price section. It might be useful to select a bit fewer than the average of your opponent at the beginning. You can increase it gradually later on. If you increase it rapidly, your rank might decrease. Sale price is the section that adds an overline to the standard price and becomes visible on the page. Amazon is removing this section already. It is not useful at these days. You can keep empty for this section. You haven't shipped your product yet, thereby you can write zero for the quantity section. We'll write after making the shipping plan. Maximum order quantity is an important section. You can write 5 to 10 depends on your product value. You can write 20 to 30 if it is not valuable enough. It prevents that our opponents buy all of our products. These kinds of things are possible to happen. Sometimes, one of your opponents might buy all of your stock and return them after two months. Even you can't sell the product if they damaged. You might lose all your stock. However, if you adjust as five for this section, one customer can buy five units at once. In this way, you prevent that your opponent can't see your stock and you can keep your stock alive. I have mentioned the 999 methods. If you write your stock like this, your opponents can't understand the number of your stock. Thereby, this section is important. You should choose a template if you will care about the shipping process. We won't choose any of them. You can write a warning message for the legal disclaimer section. Our product doesn't have this kind of risk, so we don't fill it here. You can write three to four days if you are caring about the shipping for the handling time section. We don't fill because we want to use Amazon storage and shipping options. If you want to present your product as a gift, you should mark these two sections. After this section, it is not necessary to fill in other blinks. These are not important information but the fulfillment channel section. You are choosing if the product is FBM or FBA. At the FBM, you are caring about the shipping and storage procedures, and at the FBM, 
Amazon cares about all the procedures. We are choosing the I will ship this item myself section. We'll change it while making a shipping plan. The next step is the compliance section. If your product involves battery, pile, etc. We don't have this kind of material, thereby, we don't fill it section. If you have, you should fill here. Let's come to the photo section. I already explained to you in the previous lesson, but let me say once more what should you care about in this section. In the main photo, there must be only the product. There mustn't be any trademark or logo. This must be a photo, not a drawing. The background color must be white. The sizes must be at least 1000 pixels. I advise you to upload photos 1500, 1500 pixels. There is a limit as well, you can upload over 10,000 pixels. JPEG format is preferred. You can add the TIFF or GIF format. I don't advise you to upload GIF or TIFF, normal photos will be better, surely. You should make the photos prepared professionally. We are providing this step as well. You can contact us if you need. For our product, I have found some photos by googling and now, upload them here. The site gives you a chance to upload 9 photos. You should try to fill all of them. Click the choose file and turn. There is something important to share with you. You should make your photo names with our keywords. These all have some value in the Amazon algorithm. In this way, you might be visible further. I am uploading the photos in turn. And the last photo that I am uploading now. Our seven photos are ready now. The first seven photos are really important. If you want to complete it, you can upload two more photos. And at the product listing page, there will be shown plus two below the photos on the left. Our photo section is ready too. Let come to the description section. There are two sections. Key product features are the bullet points. You can create five of them by clicking the add more button. And we filling them all with our bullet points. We already prepared them, I am just making copy paste for all of them in turn. We prepared them by working on our keywords and evaluating them. You can give space from the beginning, you can add dot here, but I don't recommend you to use emojis. When you use emojis, the algorithm has been affected and works slowly for us. Let's come to the product description. We prepared this section already with HTML code and copy paste again. You already know how bad it looks without the HTML code. The description section is ready. You can see the interface a little different, don't worry if it is different, the info will be the same. Let's pass another section that is keywords. What are our keywords? We have a section with 250 characters, we should add these keywords in the search term section. The site is warning you that you shouldn't write your opponent's mark or essence. At the first time, the size shouldn't over 250 bytes, if we pass the 250 bytes, we should know that we won't be indexed at any keywords. Don't use the repeater keywords. I already explained them all in detail. This is the search term section. It is not necessary to fill the other blinks. But if you want to complete all of them, it is up to you. But be sure that they don't affect the algorithm. Just search terms affects it. Let's fill the first one because it has marked in red. Target audience is related to your product. Who is your target? It is asked. Our target might be adults for this product. You can write mothers, human, children, father, etc. After completing this section, we can pass the more detail section. We are finishing it gradually. You will give the information about your product in this section. It is a vitally important section. You will write the heaviness and the sizes of your product. How can you get this information? Of course, from your manufacturer. Or you can learn from the samples. According to this information, Amazon provides you FBM and FBA. If you fill higher than usual, you might pay more. Thereby, you should write the optimum size that you pay the less by changing the values at the helium calculation tool. You are writing the heaviness of the product for the shipping weight. You can write any heaviness as you wish. How many year of experience your manufacturer has, packet heaviness, color, size, how many pieces your product has, 
etc. These are not important information, but might be useful when you fill. You can fill the material type. And the important sections are below. Item dimensions in package dimensions. You should write the package and the product heaviness in this section. You should mention the type if it is inches or cm. This is important information. We have filled all the blinks with the real information. When you click the save and finish button, your product list will be ready. The product list will be ready within 15 minutes, then you can pass the shipping plan section. We'll make a shipping plan in the next episode. See you in the next episode.